Coming up, going to have some coverage on my friends over at Goodridge Lumber, goodridgelumber.com in Albany, Vermont. They are the builders, purveyors, if you will, of custom log cabin kits that are just amazing. Also, a shout out to author Nan Chase, who I met down in the Carolinas. Check out her book, Eat Your Yard. Hey, I'm Derek Diedrichson from RelaxShacks.com. Welcome to Tiny Yellow House. This time around, you're about to embark on a tour of a transforming micro A-frame. The transforming part, you shall see. This also marks the first time, I think, where I've come up with a design and had someone else build it, which was a nervous prospect at first. But I thought to myself, hmm, who would I want to build one of my designs? There's only one person I really could think of, Joe Everson from TennesseeTinyHomes.com. And he did a really incredible job. Now I have a plan set available for this cabin on RelaxShacks.com. It was drafted by David and Jeannie Stiles, the author-architect duo from New York City, who I dig very much. It's been a fun team up. Stiles meets Diedrichson meets, meets Everson. So it's been great to work with these people. Uh, a lot of people wondering though, Deke, why an A-frame? Well, first of all, a-frames, much simpler to construct than B-frames. Many complex curves involved. A-frames, I just dig the look. I kind of think they're fun. They're simple to build, they're affordable, and they shed snow very readily. So that's why. Now let me show you inside. So among the many things we have going on inside this micro-transforming, again, A-frame, uh, first and foremost next to me, these purlins that support the roof sheathing not only are supporting the roof, but they've been oriented in a horizontal fashion so as to be useful as book or knick-knack shelves. In addition to that, the day bed or bed, I'm sitting on one of two in here. Beneath it, we have an absurd amount of storage, especially for such a tiny, tiny space. Uh, we have a little sink in here, room to slide a micro fridge underneath, a couple built-in drawers as well to store your goodies. Now, one of my favorite parts of this A-frame design is the micro loft up above here, which is more spacious than it may seem. If you're seeing this thinking, Deke, but ventilation's gonna be super hot up there. Don't worry, we got you covered. As for the transforming aspect of this tiny cabin here, behind me, this wall is clad in tough decks. It's polycarbonate roofing, this stuff's translucent. At night, when illuminated, the cabin looks awesome. During the day, you get a lot of natural light in here. The stuff is uh, affordable, easy to install, and lightweight. So this whole section here is hinged. In good weather, the whole roof opens up like so. Now once we've opened up the roof, convertible style, dropped down the legs and dropped our mosquito netting. This bed right here is actually in casters. So with a little shove, wheel it out into the deck. And the result is a much more spacious room for hangouts, camping out in the woods, who knows what. In fact, Steven, hey, check this out, man. Dude, this thing has a lot of room. Stephen Harrell from tinyhousespoon.com, Tiny House Listings. And there you pretty much have it, relaxshacks.com for the plan sets. Uh, thanks to Joe Everson from Tennessee Tiny Homes and David and Jeannie Stiles, author, architect, duo, like I said, who have a plethora of awesome books out there. I'm Deke, I'll see you guys later. Thank you very much. Yeah, when you get a little blow, blow. Super unbelievable, cool, cool.